Master the art of English. Verb plus noun collocations in assessment and evaluation. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of English language learning with a specific focus on advanced vocabulary. We'll hone in on verb plus noun collocations, particularly those you'll come across in the context of assessment and evaluation. Let's unlock the potential of these powerful linguistic pairings to boost your English proficiency. Before we get into the specific area of assessment and evaluation, let's ensure we all understand what we mean by verb plus noun collocations. In essence, a collocation is a natural combination of words that English speakers commonly use together. Our focus today, verb plus noun collocations, pairs a verb and a noun that often co-occur, such as, do homework, or, take a break. In the realm of assessment and evaluation, using the right collocation can help you articulate ideas with precision. For instance, we often say, conduct an assessment, or, evaluate a performance. Understanding these common pairings will enable you to communicate your points more naturally and accurately. Let's explore some frequently used verb plus noun collocations in the context of assessment and evaluation. 1. Conduct an assessment. This phrase is commonly used when a teacher or a professional reviews or judges a student's work or performance. 2. Perform an evaluation. You'll hear this often in a professional or academic setting where the quality of a work or a performance is being assessed. 3. Give feedback. This is a key phrase used when someone offers constructive criticism or advice after assessing a work or performance. 4. Draw conclusions. This phrase refers to the process of making a final judgment or decision based on the information gathered during an assessment or evaluation. 5. Achieve results. This phrase often follows an assessment or evaluation, indicating the attainment of certain outcomes. 6. Submit a report. After an assessment or evaluation, you may need to submit a report to provide a formal account of your findings. Understanding and applying these collocations can greatly enhance your fluency and your ability to communicate complex thoughts. Now that we've explored these common collocations, it's time to practice. Try creating sentences with these collocations, or better yet, write a paragraph or a short essay on a topic related to assessment and evaluation using these collocations. Remember, practice is key when it comes to mastering any new language concept. We hope you found this deep dive into verb plus noun collocations in the context of assessment and evaluation beneficial. With practice, these collocations will become an integral part of your English vocabulary. Remember, learning is a journey. It's all about small, consistent steps. Keep practicing and stay tuned for more in-depth English language learning content. Happy learning, everyone!